Well, good morning. Here we are in the garden. Lovely morning. We're actually going to talk about something really important right now, which is water and mosquitoes. So one of the things that we're going to find that, especially as we're getting to summer, um, we may find we have mosquitoes, midges, call them what you will, um, and they'll be attracted to your rain barrels. All that rainwater we've been collecting for the garden, one of the things that they'll do is they'll try and lay their little eggs in there and then we'll get an infestation. So one of the things to avoid, rather than emptying out all your rain barrels, that's what a lot of people say, just empty them out, get rid of the water, that way you'll have no problem with them. We, we have something a little bit more scientific to use. So I'm going to show you here with the, our little glass of water. So this is just a regular glass of water, um, straight from the rain barrel. It's actually pretty clear. What we're going to do, imagine this is the rain barrel for a moment. We're going to take a little, some regular old uh, washing up liquid, just the stuff you're using the dishes in the sink. And we're going to put a little drop in. And what, we, what that's going to do, that's going to do something called breaking the surface tension. You can see right there, it's gone a little cloudy already on the top, a little swirly. And what that's doing is, on the top of the water, which is where the mosquito lays their eggs, that's just broken that uh, little layer where they can do that. So now Mr. Mosquito comes along, tries to lay his eggs in the water, and actually lays um, his, her, her eggs in there, and the eggs are going to sink all the way to the bottom and drown. What mosquitoes and larvae need is actually to be on the top of the surface so they get air to them. So what we've just done is stop that from happening. So how do we do that to a rain barrel? Well, to a standard size uh, 50 or 75 gallon rain barrel, which is what we have here, um, I'll show you, that's one of those over there. Over there, those big blue ones. We're going to use approximately a teaspoon of this a week, okay? What we're going to do is going to drop it in, drip, drip, drip. If you want, if you prefer not to use this, um, because maybe you think it's bad for the environment, it's actually really not. It's actually quite good. It also keeps green fly away from your roses. So it's kind of killing two birds with one stone. Because um, when we use it to water, uh, it keeps away the aphids. So that, if you don't want to use the soapy water, another little trick you can use is for a rain barrel of that size is to use half a cup of olive oil. The same principle applies. What happens is you pour in the olive oil and it actually forms a film across the top. And it suffocates um, those mosquitoes and that mosquito larvae. So what happens is, with the olive oil, the little mosquito comes in, zzzz, bloop, try, lays its eggs in the top. Doesn't realize there's oil on the top. Lays its eggs in the water below, uh, there. The olive oil allows the larvae to sink into the water below, but because the olive oil's on top, it stops the uh, air getting to the larvae, and the larvae then suffocate. All sounds a little bit barbaric, but, it's much better than having mosquitoes and midges um, spreading their diseases. You, we're not in an area where we have malaria and so on and so forth, but you know, we do uh, not necessarily want mosquitoes and midges around in the garden. Uh, if nothing else, it's a bit of a, a pain and no one's gonna sit out and enjoy their time with you. So that's my little tip for this morning. Here we just finish off with a little view of the uh, morning sun in the side garden. You can see there we've got hollyhocks and roses of Sharon and gladioli are all out. And it really is a beautiful day here in my own little space of heaven.